So why are we still sinking? Um, where did this all come from, really? Well, Elon Musk tweets on various cryptocurrencies, as we know, and the fact that his Twitter seems to drive uh, the markets is enough to put off some really, really high-level economists who think this is all just a fast. The most damaging tweet, really, was a couple of weeks ago when Elon Musk said Tesla were to stop accepting Bitcoin as a means of payment. This really highlighted the issue around how environmentally friendly Bitcoin is, and we are very likely to still see the effects of this in the next month or so. And so <laughs> it goes without saying, really, that you need to be checking on Elon Musk's Twitter feed to, to see any news regarding that. Um, there are also regulation issues with Bitcoin. Most recently, the Chinese financial authorities said that banks were not allowed to offer crypto to their clients, which has really caused this much larger crypto-wide sell-off, to be honest. Um, and to be honest... Bad news seems to, to breed more bad news. That's what, what's happening now. What, what can we look for in the next few months? Um, the reason for this next push lower that we've had in the last couple of days, really, is news that the US authorities managed to seize $2.3 million worth of Bitcoin paid to the hackers who hacked the Colonial Pipeline last month. The company that operates the pipeline had paid around $5 million worth to the hacker group but the Department of Justice said that they've recaptured some of those funds. This shows that Bitcoin may not be as anonymous and as untraceable as people thought, potentially being the catalyst for this latest sell-off, so something to, to watch out for for this next month. We should really turn our attentions to the G7 meetings coming up in June. There's nothing to suggest that the US will ban Bitcoin like China are trying to do, but the Biden administration may attempt to regulate the cryptocurrency industry to stop fraudulent transactions and money laundering as well. And this may cause another leg lower because this is a really speculative market. However, I must say I do not feel like it's time to panic too much just yet. Bitcoin lives and breathes off of volatility and it is still that case now. Um, it's up on the year. Many will argue this is just a necessary correction. Because after all, when do you ever see a market just rising without any form of correction? The answer is never. Um, let's take a level look at the uh, key levels on the chart to see if we can try and make sense of, of what's going on at the moment. Okay, so I'm on the chart now. Let's really try and make sense um, of what is going on. I do not feel that um, it may be necessary to go through potentially order block levels. Um, I might touch on a couple. But let's have a look at some really key levels. Let's have a look at the context of what's happening um, because I do see this as a, a very nice buy and hold opportunity, for more of an investment opportunity. Now, if I have a look at when Bitcoin started the year, January 2021, up until we've had that high at around 64,000, you can see that the market's gained over 100%. It's over doubled its value in the space of four months, right? Which is just not sustainable really and if we have a look at this sell-off that we've had really starting from the beginning of last month you can see that we've actually shredded um, around 42 percent of of bitcoin in the last month which is a big sell-off which i can imagine has caused a lot of pain for some people but what i think is important to understand here is that when we was up at 101 percent profit it was really just necessary that the market had to correct at some point Yes, we had these news around regulations that, that have really sparked that as well. But I do feel like where we are at this level at the moment, you can see that where we've had these um, these levels of, of support at the moment, I do feel that this market could, could still rally from here. But I have to be balanced in my analysis and I do feel there are some hurdles that, that need to be to be overcome in order for me to really want to be investing in Bitcoin at the moment. Now, what worries me, first of all, is we have this. Hi guys, thank you for listening to this video. Just really quickly wanted to touch on a really exciting offer we have on the website. It's a limited time offer and if you head over to zenfinex.co.uk, you will see the offer in front of you straight away. And this is that you can trade Forex on a standard account with raw spread plus zero commission. And now Zenfinex is also an FCA and no dealing desk execution broker. If you are interested in this offer, you can get in touch with the team by clicking learn more, or you can simply go to open an account where you can start the application process. 
close above the 200 day moving average a uh, really key level and you can see that when we first um, wicked all the way below we did actually start to close above but as you can see we're now comfortably trading below the 200 day moving average you can see we had this retest as well that retest was at around 40,000 and since then we, we look it looks painful to be honest it looks like this market wants to go a little bit lower in terms of a technical analysis point of view we also had this 50 day moving average crossing over and below the 100 day moving average another sign uh, another bearish sign that the market is, is signaling to us right now you can see the RSI is really tra uh, trending now to the downside you can see that market really is trending to the downside so I do feel that what we would need is is some sort of of um, news um, about the regulation in a good way that will help this market come back and close above this this 200 day moving average so if I'm being completely honest the only way that I'll be interested in buying Bitcoin at the moment unless you're happy for some drawdown and you're, and you're using it as an investment rather than a trading opportunity then I'd want to see um, this market come and close back up above, above around 40,000 um, and then uh, look to hold up until potentially around 50,000 as a as a take profit level because you can see we have all of this um, this gap in here which is, is to be filled especially in this level as well if I move down onto the four hour chart and I remove these drawings you can see that most recently this is over the last couple of days or so we've had this break of this low here from the four hour chart now if you're a trader of Bitcoin you could use this level as a potential selling opportunity this is our four hour order block really and um, I just wanted to touch on, on an order block very quickly um, because it was a quite quite bearish impulse from there and you can see that as of, at the time of recording this video we are coming up to, to retest this level once more where do I see this market going if we if people were to to sell from this level to be honest I think this market may have another leg lower and by another leg lower I mean roughly testing potentially around the 25,000 level this I believe would actually make it um, if I just quickly check that it would actually make it down on the year I don't see it being down on the year for too long so I think that somewhere around the 25,000 level and I think that what's really important is if we can hold uh, these support levels sorry these support levels here if we can hold these lows which sit around 29 and 28,000 another potential buying opportunity for that so if I just move my take profit for sellers it would still be a break of this structure but it would be a 5R trade for a selling opportunity from there I have to say I'm not too interested in selling um, I'll be looking for a buying opportunity there because I think there's going to come a time where uh, liquidity starts flowing back into the markets and, and um, retail traders really start jumping on the buying opportunities again and I've even heard some um, hedge funds coming out and saying that, that Bitcoin at the moment is actually could be quite a good hedge um, in terms of how much it's dropped um, over the last month so yeah that's what I'm seeing for, for Bitcoin at the moment uh, hopefully um, 25,000 is the complete floor but I'm looking for these support levels at 28 and 29,000 to hold strong um, if we can get a break above first of all around 36 to 38,000 then hopefully we can go looking for 40,000 which is hopefully um, start to close above that 200 day moving average so that is it for today guys I hope you all enjoyed this video please like and subscribe to this channel this is the first Bitcoin video we've done and if you're enjoying them then we will be sure to do some more um, on other cryptos as well just drop some comments in the comment section uh, to let us know your thoughts thank you all for listening guys and I'll catch you all for the next video which will be tomorrow <laughs>